Well, just amazing that nobody was injured in this crossfire. The sheer number of bullets that flew through this neighborhood shocked even the mayor. The sound of gunfire ripping through a Somerville neighborhood. Crossfire between two cars just outside Beth McCray's front door. We were just sitting in the living room and all of a sudden heard really loud bangs. We heard like eight shots right in a row and it was absolutely, I was immediately like get down because it was really terrifying. There were shell casings all over the street, like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, we were just all really grateful that nobody got hurt. The crossfire stretching down Temple Street with bullets landing on Broadway. Police found 32 shell casings scattered across the crime scene. Uh, I was stunned in shock. I don't think that any of our residents here in Somerville should experience anything like that. The mayor spent the day meeting with those impacted by the violence, flying bullets, hitting cars, and shattering windows at nearby businesses, one flying through this bakery, another hitting this salon. Thankfully, all after business hours and after parents put their kids to sleep. Glad that my kids were asleep so they didn't have to witness it because I think that would be a lot for kids and they would be terrified and I don't want them to think that their home is under attack. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And we're going to put all our resources we have to finding out what happens. And police do plan to step up patrols here in this area as the gunmen remain on the loose. Live in Somerville, Sean Shire about WCVB News Center 5.